it represents black girls, how beautiful as they are. They are. Hello, my name is Faith and I'm the editor of Coca Gal. And in this picture, you'll see me eating a sweet. At the start of lockdown, I went to buy some magazines for my daughter, Faith. And we couldn't find any with any girls that looked like her. We decided to do a magazine which reflected her and other girls like her. In total, we have sold about 11,000 copies of the magazine. There's a few mothers that have bought this magazine as a surprise for their daughter. Some of them have never seen a black girl on the front of a cover before. This girl looks like me because she's got those. This is a little girl called Niall, one of Faith's best friends. I wanted little girls to know how to look after their hair. Where the big stores don't really cater for products for them, they can make it themselves at home. So we we'll write 15 words that described you around the picture. Yeah, what I couldn't even words? survive of doing that. So what were some of the words that you put? We've got um, your one. I here. put um, smart, yeah. honest. I knew she was struggling with what she looked like. This journey that she's gone on to love her hair, to love her skin tone, to love everything about herself is the most amazing thing that's happened. You did one thing which I loved. You said you were pretty. Beauty. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm just hoping other little girls can go on that journey too. We heard about the death of George Floyd. I didn't think that I could launch a magazine which told black children that they could be anything they want to be when we had seen such a sad death. A lot of people were asking, what can we do to support the black community? And the response was amazing. There was one time where the magazine was selling a thousand a day. I, I love the, the positivity of it. I think genuine diversity is um, not just about a cover, it's about a culture and um, really using this moment um, as an opportunity to look at the brands that we work for, look at our teams and take some of the learnings from the past few weeks um, following the Black Lives Matter movement. I was somebody that had been trying so hard to get into publishing from such a young age. I left the industry because there was always that glass ceiling that I couldn't get through. I'm really, really happy and proud. The fact that Selena has actually created a magazine for six, seven-year-olds who, who actually are picking it up and reading it, that's, that's awesome. We are really concerned that actually if we don't look at how diversity in content is being tackled now for future generations, it means that actually maybe that six, seven-year-old won't pick up a magazine and they won't read that content because it's not relevant to them. Can I just say something, Mummy? If you're out there, friends, I want to say hi.